Imagine yourself grabbing a cold one and tuning into a good story a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away, or maybe side. Still on side. Or even 15 bucks, little man, put a cheat in my hand. Hey, I'm not judging here. Anyways, you're ready to immerse into a good story, perhaps even feel being its hero for a bit. But then you're interrupted by a boring ad or distracted by a banner. And it has nothing to tell you apart from some product specs and the price. It doesn't even try. But what if, as a creator, a marketer or an entrepreneur, you could create brands that tell interesting, surprising, relevant stories through every piece of branding and advertising? Try Brand Story. It's by far my favorite tool to create brand platforms. If you've dealt with multinational corporate marketing, you're probably aware of brand pyramids, brand keys, and other holy artifacts of brand management. They may have their use, but I personally feel they are too bloated with unnecessary elements. If I had a dollar for every time I've seen a PowerPoint that states that a brand is dynamic, modern, and open-minded, I would probably get a sync and buy Twitter myself. I believe that creative strategic planning is all about asking the right questions, and Brand Story helps you focus on the most essential ones. So, how does it work? First of all, it's extremely simple. As they say, easy to learn, hard to master. It's basically four lines that you need to fill in. Four, someone with a problem. We are something, offering, feeling of something, because only we provide something. Now that's a lot of something. But don't worry, let's dive deeper into each line. Like every story, brand story starts with a hero. And surprise, it's not your brand or your product. It's your audience, and not just some vague demographics. Nobody cares about the story of 18 to 45 males and females with average income. A long time ago in a galaxy far, far away, 18 to 45 males and females with average income lived their happiest lives and enjoyed various brands. Okay, this actually sounds like a pitch of quite a few latest Hollywood movies, but still. Try to paint a vivid portrait with a focus on some relevant problem that can be potentially solved by your brand, no matter how you find it, through extensive research, interviews, customer development, or using your empathy and gut feeling. A problem is essential, because it will spark a drama and become a center of your story, helping to shape the role of your brand, so it gets a chance to become a viable solution. So you found your hero, your Luke, who has just lost his family and has nothing to keep him stay in the desert. It's time for the second essential part of brand story, role of the brand. Like various side characters Luke finds in his galactic journey, your brand should help the hero in some particular way at a particular time. Remember, your brand is not a main hero of this story, it's a side character. Though it doesn't mean it can't be awesome, like a smuggler giving the fastest ride to the hero or a wise green alien who helps a hero find his magical powers. Of course, some brands act more like Jack by the Hutt, but we won't create anything like that, won't we? Line number three, offering. We have a hero with a problem. We have a brand that plays a role in hero's life and offers a solution. It's a story, so the solution should feel emotional. What does your brand make the audience feel like? Does it give the peace of mind or the feeling of being ready for anything that comes? Line number four because only we. It's all about the functional benefits. What does your brand or product actually provide? Unique features, services, anything tangible. A lot of times I've started my brand stories with this line, because at the beginning of the branding project you usually know about the product and you have to create a brand around its features. Now it's time to put everything together. The beauty of brand story in comparison with old school tools like Brand Pyramid is its conciseness. People have natural abilities to feel when the story just clicks, that all its parts complement each other, that there is a punchline. My boss told me to have a good day. What you now see is a statement. My boss told me to have a good day, so I went home. And this is more of a story. It suddenly has death. You can feel the character behind it. The drama is very tangible and relatable. It's really hard to explain. The thing is, you just feel it, don't you? Let me give you a couple of examples of brand stories I've had a luck to work on. Maybe I will go through them in more detail in later videos, but for now. Here's Dodo Pizza brand relaunch for UK market. The product is a mix of premium ingredients like lobster and mango and lightning fast delivery. The best of two worlds, highbrow dining and fast food restaurants. We've based the brand story on the cultural separation that we felt was happening in the country at that time, according to our semiotic research. 
and here's another more technological example. It was done for a payment gateway that helps e-commerce businesses accept different payment methods all over the world. We've realized that decision makers are actually very senior people who may work in global digital retail but still find themselves annoyed by the speed of technological and cultural changes happening around them, and our brand would become the helping hand that walks them through the ever-changing landscape. As you may see, just four lines of text can paint a vivid picture of the brand. When you have a compelling brand story, it's easier to make any design or advertising decisions. So how does one use brand story? At our agency Border Zero, it's a starting point of any branding project, no matter if it's a new brand or a relaunch. You can do it for a local pizza place, for a global fintech company, even for your own cozy YouTube vlog. The possibilities are endless. Sometimes we also use brand story for ad campaigns. Although lately we prefer another framework called the selling problem. Maybe I'll cover it in one of the following videos. By the way, if you have any questions or want me to cover any other topic related to branding or creative advertising, be sure to write a comment. At this point, I'd like to give a shout out to Yaroslav Serduk, co-founder of Band Agency. I found out about Brand Story in one of his lectures about brand sessions, and since I've adopted it for using as an ultra-focused brand platform framework. I'll put a link to his online school in the description. Wait, that's not it. How about some homework? Pick a brand. It could be something you're working on or some imaginary product and write a brand story for it, and then post it in the comment section below. Thank you for your curiosity and please never ever subscribe to this channel.